Goody, goody! Hi, the Hulk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. Hopefully, you are doing well. Yes. Well, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up your seats, uh, seat belts, because uh, this is going to be quite a ride. <laughs> well, I'm finally doing it. Finally, going to take a look at one of my favorite castings of all times. The Matchbox Land Rover 90. And uh, we spell that out. 90, yeah. We spell that out. So this was in 1987 is when they produced this. And 162nd scale. And what we're looking at right here is the first edition. Yes. And a lot of these, and uh, we're going to just, uh, I don't know how many parts this is going to be, because I got, I got stuff spread all over on this table, I got stuff spread over on that table, and I don't have it all mapped out. So we're just going to wing it and see what uh, happens, what takes off, right? <laughs> we're going to take a look at my loose stuff as well as my card and stuff, but uh, um a lot of my information, well, pretty much all my information has come from BAMCAorg.org. They have a database that's the Bay Area, Bay Area Matchbox Club Association. And so uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of pictures of things that I don't have. Yeah, can you believe that? I don't have some stuff. So here is the first edition Variation number one, 1987, blue with a white top and a gray base. Now, while we're uh, talking about uh, boxes and unboxes, now this is uh, the the first ones came out from Macau, and uh, you, we're going to be talking about that too. Um, now this one, I, I probably got this with the box. But as you can see there, it says Macau. Yes. So that's a very important thing to look at and watch while we do uh, go through this. So here is a box. This is what it would look like. MB35, the 90. This is from Macau. Now I do happen to have some uh, boxed in the wi with a window uh, not really sure where these come from and where they, they fit in the timeline. This is MB16, um, but it's the same, it's the same casting. I'm not really sure the timeline. Now these, I would believe would be later, you know, um, but I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> And uh, these really don't have a, a date on them, per se, that I can see. Uh, yeah. So I'm not, not really sure uh, when these... Uh, oh, 1981. So this is a uh, very early packaging. Because they, they started in... Uh, 1987 so how does that have an 81 date or am i reading that right yeah it says 81 oh that's a trademark but that's not when it was made anyway so uh that's some uh, <laughs> that's what i got of that here's one that was made in thailand this is the mb35 the land rover 90 I'm not really sure which one came in that but it was the one that uh has that on the base and then i have this one here i don't have it in there um but it's just an example of the packaging. It's mint, it's unpunched, but it is open, and I really don't know what car goes in there. Yeah, how do you like that? But this does say uh, made in Macau, so MB16. So that uh, was a newer, a newer one. So there you go, 1987. So that was probably an early one. All right, so there you go. That's the first one blue with a uh, yellow and orange stripe on it white top has land rover with the uh, zigzag there on the front black bull bar black 
uh, interior. Like I say, it's got the glossy gray base to it, and uh, they all have this wheels. Um, and I was going to try to do it by wheel variation, but uh, yeah, that was a huge category. So we can't do that. All right, so number two is one I don't have already. Variation number two. So let's take a look at that. All right, now we're looking at uh, BAMCA's website. Here's variation number two. It's green with uh, gray base, black. And I, I have one that looks pretty much like it. And uh, we'll get into this. And this is kind of how things happen here. Um, the number two has Macau on the base. This is a different variation, which has Thailand on the bottom. But other than that, it's practically the same. So this is number two variation. All right. Uh, virtually the same thing as the blue one. Uh, same color. Uh of the, uh, yeah, so pretty pretty neat there, all right? I wanna also show you my uh, loose ones that I have of uh, variation number one. Uh, this is all the loose ones that I have in various conditions. Um, a lot of different ones, but this is probably this one and uh, there's one other one that I've got a ton of. Uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I have uh, like 15 of them plus uh, the one that's on the on the uh, desk over there. So this is, uh, yeah, um, pretty popular model. It was the first one. So uh, that's uh, number one. Uh, number two, I don't have. And so let's move along to number three. All right, we're back over here on the desk, and here is number three. And this is uh, dark blue with a white top, gray base with Macau on the base, uh, black interior, clear windows with the Royal Navy. So that's uh, number three. Now this was a UK uh, release. This wasn't a, a United States release. So uh, very, very hard to get a hold of. But uh, that was... Uh, 1988 that one came out so 87 for the first one 88 for the second one the third one came out in 88 and then uh 89 came out this one here now this is what uh b-a-m-c-a calls uh the fourth variation a for a this is red with a white top and a gray base macau and uh, just virtually uh, the same thing other than it has uh, country on the side. And this most, this most um, how do I want to say that? <laughs> this copy is the actual um, Land Rover itself in the day. They had that graphic on the Land Rover uh, by itself, you know, so... Uh, yeah, very, very kind of cool. Very kind of cool. So 4B was, uh, and I don't have that, is just a little bit darker. A darker uh, color red. But otherwise, it was the same exact thing. So very, very kind of cool. So that was 1989. So number five, and I've got sticky notes all over the place. Number five was this one here, and um, I believe it came in a play set as well, but here is the carded one. Uh, this is uh, mint in the package. I haven't opened it up. Macau, uh, Land Rover 90, and this was a Commando Dagger Force. So very, very kind of cool there. I got that, uh, and uh, very, very cool. So this came out. Uh, in uh, 1989, so it's black with a kind of a gray top to it, and uh, yellow and gray. I don't know if those are supposed to emulate blasts or whatnot, but it's got the uh, cloak and dagger. What are they? Uh, yeah, so really cool. It's got a uh, flat black gray base to it, made in Macau. 
uh, gray interior, clear windows. So really, really cool uh, addition there. These are really hard. I have um, a couple of these. I've got the one on the card. I've got that one there. And I also have these two other ones that are kind of beat up. These are really kind of hard to get a hold of. Uh, they're, I don't, I don't know why. But anyway, they are played with usually pretty good. So that's what I got of number, what is that? Number five. So uh, number six. Number six is a uh, base variation. And it's of this model here. Now, that would be uh, Macau on the bottom, not Thailand. So that is uh, number six. Uh, white, it's the uh, kind of the opposite of the, the red one here. And uh, just a really nice model. Now, these are usually hard to come by, too, uh, because I don't think they really came in a single. They only came in a uh, two-part deal. But uh, number six variation was with the Macau base, white with the black and red decals on there, black interior, clear windows, and a clear top. So this is, and that came out in 1989, so the, the country. So this actually is number seven, which this is it on the card. It came with a speedboat. You can see that is Thailand. So really, really kind of cool. Uh, of course, I bought this on eBay because there's no way I'd find something like that here in the States. So there's number seven for you. And I don't know how far we're going to get along here, but we're going to try to get along as far as we can. Uh, number eight is uh, 1991 this came out. And this is a flashback to uh, the first original one, but in green. Yes. At the, the orange and yellow stripes. Now this has already got the Thailand uh, already on the base. Green with the stripes. Land Rover on the hood. Black bull bar, which coincides with the black interior. White top and the gray base. So that's, uh, I got uh, two of those. These are kind of hard. Uh, this is uh, mistaken a lot of times. For the first one, the first one is the one that has uh, Thailand on it, or uh, excuse me, uh, Macau, and uh, number eight, this one here, is the one that has uh, Thailand. So that is actually the eighth version there. All right, moving right along. So 1990, uh, they came out with the uh, red one with the Thailand on the bottom. Now you remember the first one had Macau. So this is the number eight, nine, excuse me, nine country. And uh, these are kind of hard to come by too. This one is probably the nicer one that I've got. Same uh, deco and stuff like that. The only variation is the Thailand base. So very, very nice. Uh, you know, these cars are really apt to uh, getting the flea bites on the sides and stuff like that. So just a really nice model. And, and boy, I tell you, I spent hours uh, getting this together so I could uh, show you this stuff. <laughs> I told you it was going to be an ordeal when I, uh, you know, been promoting this. So here we go, number nine. And uh, not to be confused, what, what was this one? The, the third one? Once again, the third version had Macau. The number nine version has uh, Thailand. And uh, same, pretty much the same uh, rendition, but this comes on the card, Sky Busters with the helicopter and stuff like that. Just really kind of cool, really kind of cool. So just a lot of neat stuff here. All right, I think we're going to be um, number 10. Let's take a look at, uh, okay, we got 10. Where is Mr. 11? All right, here, let's do Mr. 11. I've only got one of these. Um, this is uh, dark blue with a uh, white top uh, with a navy gray gray base, navy blue base. Uh, oh yeah, light gray with a navy blue stripe. See how I don't know if that really picks up with a white tone, uh, two tone there with a white top 
and a navy blue base. I really can't, I don't know if it'll really show up there. But uh, that's number 11 in the lineup. And uh, I've only got one of these because these are kind of hard to come by. I couldn't really tell you uh, why they're so hard to come by, but that's 1990 there. So there you go. And then uh, number 12 was uh, is an interesting one. And uh, once again, uh, we we'll take a look at the base, Thailand, um, the uh, park ranger, and we might have to do a whole nother series. This one here has got a little uh, added <laughs> coloring on it, but uh, I might have to do a whole separate series of this one just to let you know how that is because uh, it is kind of confusing uh, uh, on that. But right now, yellow with a white base, big letters, park rangers with a green and black, uh, gray base, and this is uh, the ROW, the rest of the world. So I've, I've only got two of those. Uh, I do happen to have one on the card, and that's variation number 12. Yes, I got that. I do happen to have that on the card, so that's kind of cool there. So, all right. Well, you know what? We're on to uh, 16 minutes. I got to cut it down, uh, <laughs> get this palatable. You guys will be watching this for hours if I just keep going. So we're going to call it right there. Thank you very much for joining me today. We're going to do uh, more parts. This is part one of the Land Rover 90. Thank you for joining. Make sure you uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Come on over to Facebook and check us out over there. And uh, drop down uh, comments and pictures of what you have of your favorite Land Rover 90. All right? All right, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you very much. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.